Welcome to The Journey. Today we're gonna to talk about how to work your network to get leads and clients. Hey, I'm Emma. I'm joined with my co-host Sam and I'm super stoked to learn how to work my network so I can get more leads, get more clients. <gasps> Let's go. Well, before we do that, there's a little groundwork that we have to do in building a memorable brand. So first of all, let's talk about your business name. It's so important to make sure that you have a relevant business name that's catchy and tells people what you exactly are doing for them. In fact, we have a video on this, how to name your business. Check it out. And second, you wanna think about your logo. You wanna make sure you have something that's you know identifiable and just people understand who you are when they see it. Think about Nike. When you see that, you know exactly who they are and what they're doing. Another tip is your email. It's so important to have something that's distinguishable and not just, you know, so-and-so at gmail.com, but having your own domain, possibly with your business name. We went through this at Coffee and Kick Flips. Started out like just thinking, oh, I'll use my Gmail. And then Neely pops in and he's like, no, absolutely not. We gotta do Emma at coffeeandkickflips.com. Much more professional. So next tip, your website. It connects all your social media into one very important place. People need to be able to get in touch with you no matter where you are on the web, website does that. Totally, Sam. And just consider it. Like, what is your digital footprint? What is it for your brand and your identity? All right, Sam, I'm finally ready. I feel like you set the stage. Now I want to use my network to get more leads, get more clients. We ready? We're ready. So knowing who you want to connect with, rather than remember a demographic, think about the psychographic. Who are the people that believe what you believe? That's who you want to connect with. All right, Sam, that makes a ton of sense. And also, I think about now which channels make sense, mm -hmm. keeping in mind, like, who do I want to target? Who's relevant? It reminds me of this conversation I had recently with my friend who owns a salon. And she was like, look, I'm so, so <laughs> she's like, look, I'm so busy. I know I should be on social media. What channels should I be on? I'm like, look, you're a salon. People are all about Instagram. They want to see before and afters of those balayage, getting your hair colored pink doing bangs, no bangs. So thinking about what channel is relevant to your industry and then focus on that. And also it doesn't stop at Instagram. Facebook is a great channel when it comes to sharing more personal information, connecting with people. And I like that about Facebook. It does allow you an opportunity to not always be so professional and add that like personal flair to your business and about your business. That's great. But you want to make sure that when you're reaching out, you test out your strategy of how you're reaching out to these people. See what works best for you and, you know, play around with it a little bit. And also, you want to make sure that you're giving value to these people that you're reaching out to. I'm really excited about Zig Ziglar. He was a well-known public speaker and he was known by saying you can have everything in life you want if you'll just help enough other people get what they want. So keeping that in mind when you're reaching out on social media, feel free to you know, reach out to these people on not just one platform, but when you follow up on another, just make sure you let them know, hey, I wanna reach out so much, I wanna follow up here as well, because we should connect. All right, Sam, so thinking about using my network for coffee and kickflips so I can get more customers, get more leads. Um, think about my website and how we approached it. I think it's a best practice for everyone listening in is we actually have, once you land on the website, a little pop-up comes up to join our email newsletter. And that's a great way to collect more new leads. And also we make it very easy to contact us. Our phone number's there. We wanna hear from you. So click on that button to call right on our site and then you dial in us up, see when our hours are, or just what options we have that day in the bakery. And hey, is the ramp open? And there's even forms that they can fill out. So. Website definitely for us at Coffee and Kickflips is a huge component to grow our lead base. But what do you have to say about websites? Websites are so important because in all honesty, if you don't have a website, you're not as credible as other businesses that do have a website. And also another important tip, mobile friendly. You wanna make mm. sure that that website can be clearly seen on that cell phone because everybody's now on their cell phone. It's true. You're, everyone's searching on the go. And if you are not mobile friendly, I've seen stats as high as over 60% of people will abandon your website if it's not mobile friendly. Because no one wants to do the pinch and the poke to be able to read what you're saying. So mobile friendly. 
That's a wrap. You just learned how to use your network to get more leads and more clients. So be sure to like this video. Also subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you are the first to know about our next video that comes out. And when you comment below, make sure to let us know which one of these tips you like the most. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.